Good morning, Heidi. Hello. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> so, how do you feel today? Today, so 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 good. <laughs> so so, not so good. Yeah. Um. Uh, I just taught a class on. Um, you just missed a class on how to make the perfect martini. Uh -huh. And I still have the leftovers from the martini. Oh. Mm -hmm. In fact, yeah. Real? I, is it real? It's real. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, martini. So um, I had a bar set up right here, and I, I mixed the cocktail in for the class. Oh. And we talked about how to make a martini. I can't drink yeah. if I don't have a whole that. If what? Sleep. <laughs> you just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone has a different uh, reaction, you know, to alcohol. Mm -hmm. So, um, our music class today is Tatsuro Yamashita. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you know about him? Yes. Yes, I know. Of course. He's uh, apparently he's very popular there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll uh, talk about him. I learned about him from uh, Ken. You probably never met Ken because he stays up late. Ah. And you you know oh, really? Mm. Have you ever met Ken? Yes, yes. Uh, often. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because our time is always the same. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I just, I, for me, I can only meet Ken in my early classes, and I can meet you in my late classes. So I've never had both of you. Maybe once. I maybe once had both of you. Yeah, Ken okay, is a night owl. Yes, he's a night owl, right? So he can come to my so my early classes, and you come to my late classes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, we'll see who else shows up here. So, but you like heavy metal. So, do you? Uh, are you? Are you not a fan of Tatsuro Yamashita? No, no. Uh, almost all Japanese like uh, Yamashita. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. His song, uh, was, well, his songs were used uh, as for the advertisement on mm -hmm. TV. Advertisements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that happens here a lot. The, the popular artists, uh, you hear them in the advertisements and stuff. <laughs> it's likely Japanese melody, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I hope we get some more people here today. Might just be the, it might just be the two of us. We'll see what happens. Um, I've taught a lot of new grammar skills today. It was very exciting. Mm. Talked about... Uh, what was it? Uh, imperative, yeah, imperative. Uh, uh, imperative. Today. Yeah, which was new for me. I'd never taught imperative before, so I was very. Oh really? Not <laughs> not in Kalinga. I never mm -hmm. taught imperative, so I'm like, oh, all right, a new grammar skill. It's not <laughs> it's not difficult, but uh, it's it, it's refreshing to teach something new for once. Mm. You teach the same thing over and over. Uh, although it seems like the 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 um, pronunciation. Uh, keeps repeating more. There's less pronunciation lessons than there are uh, grammar skills. So, so the pronunciation stuff gets very repetitive. So sometimes I've been skipping the pronunciation, which is too bad because I love teaching about pr pronunciation, but I don't want to teach the same thing over and over. Oh. So maybe in the future I'll be teaching some pronunciation classes, but I have to. Who is teaching pronunciation? Aside What's that? Aside mm -hmm. of miracle, only miracle. Uh, she's the only one that teaches the pronunciation workshops. Yes, yes. But um, I might be teaching some of those later. Mm. Um, I love teaching, but, but we have to plan. We have to figure out the class. So I'm trying to to plan out what it might be after she's gone. You know, she because she might not be able to teach after a couple months. So. Mm. How about the Lord play? Hmm. How about the role play? Role play, yeah. I've been working on role play. In fact, I taught a role play class yesterday, uh, but nobody came to the class. Oh, really? 
Yes. Maybe me, uh, after me that I I already slept. Yeah, yeah. It was um, it was, it would have been four o'clock a.m. your time. Mm, too early. Yeah, too early. That's why. Sometimes I woke up four four a.m. But recently I wake up at five thirty or so. Yeah. A little later because mm. uh, uh, it's getting darker. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that. I hate getting up uh, in the morning when it's still dark. I hate it. <laughs> I just like oh, I want to go back to sleep. If it's dark, it means I should be sleeping. <laughs> When the sun comes out, then I'll wake up. At the five, it's very dark. Uh, at five a.m., yeah, I bet. Yeah. yeah, it's still yeah, it's always dark here. It's never light here at five a.m. where I am. I don't think. Huh. Um. So, so Tatsuro Yamashita does he play a lot? Um, does he play a lot of concerts in Japan? Is he yes, yes. Still today? Mm -hmm. He is not a handsome guy. So we seldom uh, see him in on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I noticed. I saw some pictures. He's not that handsome. <laughs> but he's popular. That's different than the United States. In the United States lately, like the you have to be handsome or beautiful to be popular now. I, I, I hate that. It's like <laughs> not just about talent. You have to be also beautiful. Mm. And, you know, I hate that. It used to be in America, you could be ugly and still be popular. But, <laughs> uh, but not anymore. Now you have to be a model. You have to be like a model. So I don't know why. So... Uh, I want to uh, send a message here. Okay, so what was gonna do here? Yeah, it looks like it's a one-on-one -on -one class today, Heidi. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> private oh. music. A private <laughs> music class for sixteen or fifty-five <laughs> minutes. It's good. Um, How about the wah? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, she's um, I don't know. I haven't seen her in a couple of days, so maybe she's busy or something. I don't know. Like I didn't see her for a few days, and that was because I guess she was studying for an exam. But she was mm -hmm. gone for like four or five days, and so I sent her a message like, "Hey, are you okay? Is everything okay? Because we miss you, you know." And she said, "Oh yes, I'm just studying for an exam." And then she started coming to some of the classes. I only see uh, Wafa and uh, Soso in your class. Yeah, I know. And my two Saudi Arabian students, they usually come here, uh, mm -hmm. at least at this time, yeah. I have other Saudi Arabian people that come earlier, but they usually are here now. But According to my screen, there's one viewer. One somebody, viewer? Somebody. Oh, really? mm -hmm. So who knows who that is. Um... Besides talking about Tatsuro Yamashita, we're going to talk about models of ability and permission, contrastive stress. I, I've talked about this like so so much. I'm not gonna. I'm just not gonna. If it's just you and me, I'm not gonna talk about it because it's just too much. It's okay. a waste of my, It's a waste of our time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, I will ask you: Do you have any special skills that I don't know about? Uh, maybe you know. <laughs> I can, I can speak Italian. Yes, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I had an Italian. Have you met Filippo? I don't know. Oh, Filippo is a, a new student in Colingo. He was in my last class in my martini. Oh, really? Hmm. Italian. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So, any other skills that I don't know? About? Barbara. Barbara. Or Barbara. Yeah, that's right. I think I've had her before too. Barbara. Maybe she had only trial, I think. Only one week. Yeah, I, I saw her once, I think, Barbara. Yeah. Oh. Something like that. Mm -hmm. So, any other skills? Come on, some <laughs> weird little tiny skills. That, 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 something that I you. Can. 
I can make a cloth. <laughs> okay, so there you go. I think I knew that too. <laughs> so oh, you, really? Well, you maybe you told me that you sew. Mm, yes, I sew. You sew, but you actually I, make clothes. I can sew clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, so but you make clothes like from like brand new? Yeah. Mm. Do you design them yourself? Yes, yes. But really? Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, for both women and men, or just women, or for yourself, or just myself, for mm -hmm. myself. Do you make all your own clothes? Almost. Really. Basic a t-shirt or um jeans. Yeah. yeah I yeah. buy. Yeah, yeah. But all the other things you you make. Yes. From yes. scratch. Really? Well, that's interesting. See, there you go. I learned. Yeah. I learned a new dress, a coat. Really. That's right. cool. that's awesome. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Well, I, I guess I could, but I don't think I have the patience. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a patient I'm a patient man, but I don't. Um, but not when it comes to crafts. Like um, mm -hmm. you talk about, you say there's a there's a term in English arts and crafts, and like so little things like crafts where you have to do um, little. You have to be very patient in life. Mm -hmm. Like I, it's hard. For, like I don't. I'm not interested. Like even like painting and drawing. Like I don't. It's, for me, it's tedious, and I don't. And enjoy I can uh, do knitting. You can oh knitting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'd like to see some of your creations. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. What about skills? Any skills that I have that you don't know about? Oh, I don't know. What can I do? You know, I can sing and play music uh, and write music. You can play a lot of, of musical instruments. Yeah, I can play a lot of. So yeah, next week I'm going to play polka. Oh, yeah, I told you about that. Yeah, next I'll play the accordion next week. Ah, yes, yes. To practice. What's something I can do that nobody knows about? Hmm. Can you cook? No. Oh yeah, I yeah, I love cooking. In fact, this morning, this morning, I you know my breakfast was. I uh, was looking through my, my kitchen. I I didn't know what I wanted to eat, but I wanted noodles, and I ended up making some kind of a Japanese udon noodle soup thing. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah, I had some udon noodles in the freezer. And I found some steak, and I I, I cut I, I fried some steak, and I I boiled the noodles for a minute, and added some um, uh, some kind of a soup mix, like a Japanese soup mix. What's it called? Mm. Um, it's like you know, it's like um, a powder. Udon soup. It wasn't udon flavor. It was just like uh, another kind of uh, hiba, uh, kandashi or uh, handashi, ah, yes, yes. something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I put, which is very tasty. But then I have made a mistake. Not a mistake, but I put in, I found this uh, Sichuan sauce, Sichuan, and I put a lot of it in, and it's very, <laughs> very, very spicy. <laughs> so it was like, and then some, uh, I also put some radish and mm -hmm. uh, spinach because oh. I, didn't, I didn't have uh, bok choy or anything. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I mixed that together and I ate it. It was very spicy. <laughs> so that was my breakfast and lunch. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I cook. I love cooking. I like to I like to make uh, food and I like to make drinks mm. uh, for people. So it's fun for me. I really enjoy it. <clears throat> so that's something that uh, that's a skill that I have. But for me, I like to when I cook, I tend to. Um, make things up. I tend to create something that's... I don't use a recipe. Ah, me too. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what happened this morning. And so it's a, it's an experiment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so sometimes it's good, sometimes yeah. it's not good. <laughs> the same. Yeah. Sometimes my husband is a kind of victim. <laughs> <laughs> He's a victim sometimes. You don't talk... You never talk about your husband on, on here. Uh, what tell me about him? I, I don't know anything about that. Oh, husband is a chemist. He's working in a chemical productive company. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Do you guys have children? Uh, no. No. Mm-hmm. Just friends, family. And, uh, okay, that's cool. So he's a chemist. My grandfather, I live with my grandfather, and he's also a chemist. Oh, I see. He has a PhD in chemistry. Mm-hmm. And he worked in the paper industry. Do you like children? Mm-hmm. Hmm? Do you like children? Yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, actually, I don't. <laughs> you don't like children? You're like, no, you don't want to have children. Um. I don't like the noisy one. <laughs> yeah, oh, I hate no- <laughs> I hate that, yeah. Well, you know, the thing about children is they uh, they grow up. <laughs> <laughs> so, honestly, I'm scared of children, but I like them. So, um, I think I want children someday, but I'm scared of them, so I have to, I have to, uh, yeah, I have to get ready. So, but I'm, I'm lucky I have, well... Sometimes they're very cute. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I love watching children play or talk or. But 24 hours, how about? <laughs> yeah, 24 hours, literally, like all the time. You have to, yeah. It's like your whole life is dedicated to this other person now. So that scares me. About it. Like I have to give up everything, uh, and then like spend my whole life worrying about another life. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> so scary to me. But I want to do it someday, I think. So, uh, uh, I need to send a note to my friend. Um, okay, so um, I'm having a, a, a band that's coming here, and we're going to practice down here. <laughs> in about an hour and um, my friend is going to bring some sandwiches uh, banh mi sandwiches have mm. you ever had banh mi? I don't know about meat it's, um, banh mi is um, Vietnamese uh, it's like oh. a pork yeah, it's a pork um, what it is is uh, they take a um, baguette like a French mm. baguette Yeah. and they cut it open and inside they on they put um, a pate, yeah, like liver, like liver pate, and maybe mayonnaise, and then they put um, uh, grilled pork, like like uh, marinated grilled pork, like flavored mm. like pork, and then they put some other maybe some other cuts of meat, and then there's um, some kind of a um, salad of like uh, is like uh, it's like mm. carrot. Cucumber, maybe onion, uh, mm-hmm. so lots of like vegetables, like crispy vegetables, mm-hmm. and then cilantro. I think cilantro or mint, cilantro. I think, um, and then you can put. I think I'm missing something. And then you can put uh, you know sauces on there. You know like mm-hmm. uh, hoisin sauce and sriracha. Is it spicy. It, it it's um no but you can make you could put uh, jalapeno you could put peppers in it like jalapenos I or, know. <laughs> you don't like spicy I like spicy but the jalapeno is too much <laughs> too much okay well the one I go to they they give you jalapenos and then you can add hot sauce to it and you can add it as make it as spicy as you want <laughs> but it's I think it's one of the best sandwiches that I've ever had it's delicious so if you can find a Vietnamese restaurant that sells banh mi Find that and try it, and you can get it. That's not spicy if you want. You can get a mild one if you want. So, but banh mi is um, it's a delicious. I actually taught a class on banh mi in Kalinga. <laughs> that's how, <laughs> how much. To make, how to make? <laughs> uh, how to make a banh mi exactly? That's that's how much uh, I like banh mi. And it's funny because one of my other favorite dishes in the world is another Vietnamese. Curry? Dish. No curry. Uh, I love I love curry, but um, pho. Um, ah, pho. Yeah, I love pho. Yeah, it's like uh, the beef noodle soup from Viet- Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. So. rice noodle. Rice mm-hmm. noodle. Exactly. Yeah, rice noodles. And... I've never tried to make pho though. It takes all day to make pho. 
So I never, <laughs> never tried. <laughs> I like cooking, but I don't like to cook for the entire day. I have too much work to do. <laughs> spaghetti? No. Spaghetti? Yeah. No. Don't what about? Spaghetti. Yeah, of course. Mm. Yeah, I love all kinds of Italian food. I had some tortellini a few days ago. Like stuffed tortellini with like insects, ah, yeah. like mm -hmm. uh, mozzarella and spinach and chicken, just chicken mm -hmm. tortellini, and covered with this uh, tomato sauce and cheese. Very heavy, uh, you know, makes you very full, you know, like <laughs> very filling, you call it. You say, you know, aglio olio peperoncino. What is it? Aglio olio peperoncino. Very simple. Aglio is a garlic. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Um, olive oil, and pepperoncino is a red, red pepper. Oh, pepperoncino, yeah. Uh huh. I love it. Very simple. So, is this a dish though? Olive oil, pepperoncino. Is that what you said? All the spaghetti, and uh, I'm oh, spaghetti. Eat, eat it with the salad or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I make pasta sometimes. I make Italian food sometimes. I cook it, and I make my own sauce. I cut up, I cut up vegetables fine, and then I use olive oil and spices, basil, oregano, um, maybe thyme, and, and I love to cook. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Levels of ability and permission. Gosh. Yes. We have five viewers now. Hello oh. out there, everybody who's watching. <laughs> They're just five. watching us have a conversation. Five watchers. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. And if you're on there, and if you are a pro user, you should join us so you can learn about Tatsuro Yamashita. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... So I have some videos. What's your favorite Tatsuro Yamashita song? Maybe we'll listen to I it. I have the title, Christmas. Oh, yeah, I see that all the time. I haven't <laughs> heard that one, but I keep when I was studying it, I was, I was researching, and I kept mm -hmm. seeing that song. It's like silent music book. November is approaching. Yeah. kind of change in November, in November. That, uh, I hear that music often in the department. <laughs> oh, really? It's a Christmas song. Yeah. Um, yeah, that happens in the United States. You go to department stores and you hear, uh, you hear uh, Christmas music even now, like even in... Um, even in uh, already uh, started October Chris sometime. Christmas are already started in America. No. Well, yeah, in department stores it has. <laughs> oh. They want to try to sell stuff. Hey, Christmas Eve is that what it's called? Christmas Eve. Mm. Yeah. It's Christmas Eve. That's Tatsuro Yamashita. Christmas Eve. Uh, Christmas Eve, yes. Yeah, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's hard to find it. Oh, there it is. You, you know, that's a ukulele cover. No, we don't want that. Huh. I just see covers. I don't see the actual. Huh. Let's see, I'm trying to find the original. That's not it, is it? No, I can't find it. I can't find, uh, I can only find other people singing his song. Do you know what the word for that is in English? So, the rain will change to the snow after midnight. What? Are you talking about tonight? The first lyric. Oh, the first lyric. Yeah. Oh. The rain will change to the snow before, oh. after midnight. Yeah. 
That's a nice lyric. Refine piano. They're all covers. Huh. Strange. Very strange. Oh well. Anyway, so we can look at this article. Imperative? Ah, uh, no, no. No. no, I won't talk about modal verbs. You've talked about you've, you've read that three hundred times already. Uh, we won't worry about that. Uh, modal of ability and of permission. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see. You've read it three hundred times. What can you tell me about it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have you teach it. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the What are some of the modal verbs of uh, of uh, permission? Uh, ability and permission. Can I? <laughs> yep. Can I? Can I borrow your uh, computer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> if you come to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> what are some other modal verbs? May. May I ask you something? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? What can may should we not? Hmm. Permission or uh, permission? No. Maybe can and may. Can and may for sure. There's one more that starts with a C. Could. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Could I? Could I see your? Uh, yeah, could I see you for a little bit? Yeah, could I talk to you for a bit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Oops. So, that's our uh, that's our models of ability and permission. Now we can uh, talk about Tatsura Yamashita. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, this is Ken. I think this is Ken's favorite uh, Japanese artist, although he likes American rock a lot, <laughs> mm -hmm. or uh, British and American. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Tatsura Yamashita, born February 4th, 1953, is a Japanese singer-songwriter and record producer. Yamashita is best known for the song Christmas Eve, which initially appeared on his album Melodies in 1983 and later became a hit throughout the decades. It is considered one of the standard Japanese Christmas songs, winning the special prize at the 45th Japan Record Awards, 20 years after its release. In 1973, Yamashita formed the band Sugar Babe with um, musicians including Taeko onu Onuki and Kunio Muramatsu and released their sole album, Songs, two years later. <coughs> after the group disbanded in 1976, Yamashita signed to RCA and launched his own career with the release uh, of the solo album Circus Town, following 1979 award-winning album Moonglow gained moderate success. Yamashita rose to fame. In 1980, his song Ride on Time peaked at number three on the Japanese Orokan and the same, uh, the same titled album topped the chart subsequently. Okay, so there's some there's some uh, music vocabulary here. Uh, well, this is not music, but uh, released the soul album songs two years later. What does that mean, soul album? Soul album. Soul is only. Exactly, it's just like Italian, <laughs> right? <laughs> it comes from it comes from Italian, a Latin. Um, and right here, peaked. When you're talking about uh, music charts, and we say that something yeah. peaked at top. number three. Uh, top. Or, uh, hmm. Well, top would be number one, but this is number three. Yeah. So peaked at number three. What is? What would that maybe mean? Peaked at number three. 
Uh-huh. And, uh, the best, uh, what's it? Mm, the best time was uh, number three. Yeah. Yep, that's right. So that was their highest position. Yeah. Um, you know, it might have been at four and seven and twenty, but number three was the best position. So peak, peaked. It never got past number three. It never got to number one. It peaked at number three. Uh, as a solo artist, Yamashita has released 17 studio albums, two live albums, multiple compilations, and over 40 singles. He has been one of the most commercially successful Japanese male solo recording artists in the history of the Japanese album chart, selling approximately 9 million coffee, copies uh, albums in total. This uh, needs to be edited. This The English isn't quite right. Selling approximately... Nine million copies. It should just say albums. You know what? I can edit this. I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna change this. Uh, let's see. Here. I'm gonna change this right now. It needs it needs editing. This is a website I can actually change some things. Now, uh, edit. All right. Um, oh wait, there's an easier, there's a new way to edit it now. Um, um, I thought there was a way. Oh yeah. Well, okay. Hmm. Selling nine million. So you can use copies or albums, one or the other, but not both. Selling approximately nine million. Let's just do copies. No albums, because they're different album. There we go. There we go. Finally, I get to read an article where I can actually correct it while I'm reading it. <laughs> All right, so nine million albums in total. That's much better. <laughs> uh, he's he also composed for films uh, or television commercials. Well, that shouldn't be or; it should be and. And worked on the records by other artists. This is really poorly written. He is successful. Music director. Yeah, it says he's a producer, record producer. Particular, he is successful as a musical collaborator for Maria Takeuchi. Who married him in 1982 and has a daughter? Yeah, his wife. Mm-hmm. So we can make this better. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Um, where is it? It's all on 17. He also composed for film, film and television. For film, how about he has also? He he has also composed for film and television commercial. Mm -hmm. uh, films, let's say films and television, and worked on records. Oops, worked on records by other artists. Uh, he is particularly is successful as a musical collaborator for uh, who married him in 1982. Uh, it doesn't and it, and has a daughter. They have a daughter. And, yeah. And uh, but I don't know if that's important here. Well, how about how about this? How about they have one daughter. <laughs> Maybe that's better. Hmm. Oh, Wikipedia. Oops. <laughs> so, how do I save this? Okay. 
I'm writing Wikipedia. <laughs> yes, we're we're editing Wikipedia on live on 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 camera, so <laughs> everyone can watch. Okay. So this is taking a while. Hmm. All right. Much better. So here's this discography. That's what we say when we're talking about all the albums that one artist released. They call it discography in order of of uh, of when it was written. Right on time. I know very famous. You know that one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You know this one? A boy inside of me, myself. Oh, the boy inside of me, boy inside of myself. And then he worked with other musicians. <laughs> And then compilation albums, all these best of greatest hits. Yeah. Singles. So, lots of singles. Awards. <laughs> Japan Record Awards, Japan Gold Disc Award. All right. So that is everything. Um, it's funny though. That can uh, like uh, Yamashita. Yeah, that's what that's how I heard about him. I didn't know who <laughs> he was, but then he mentioned his name. I'm like, I don't know who that is. And then I so then I I look, went to YouTube to watch mm. watch something, and I found it. Uh, huh. Oh, there was a there's a link here to um, to the making of Christmas Eve, but it's not a good link. Doesn't work. Okay, now we're looking at um, uh, Yamashita's website. Kind of a cool website. <laughs> Live news. Let's see, where can I find the singles? Part one. My sugar babe. Okay, where's Christmas Eve? This one? Mm -hmm. This is Christmas Eve? Yes, 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 yes this one. Mm -hmm. Christmas Eve. Is there a video that I can watch? Uh -huh. English version. Original version. Oh. I said the English version. Zero three, the English version. Yeah, but I don't see uh, Christmas Eve. Here. <laughs> huh? Yeah, like watch when I when I search for the Christmas Eve video. Uh, it doesn't really come up. It's like other people doing a cover. Yeah. Wait a minute, what about this one? Is that it? YouTube? No. Not YouTube. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll do it on YouTube. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm supposed to. Otherwise, I get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Google will uh, delete my account if I do that. So was that the right one? Did that sound right? Let's look at it on YouTube. Is this the right one? Yeah, I think so. I'm not It's supposed to be in English. <laughs> Yeah. That's that's the uh, that's the right one. Yeah, that's right. That's so he he sings in English. It's English version. Yeah. Okay. So he sings. So there's both versions. There's a Japanese version. Yeah. <laughs> but the but the background music is exactly the same. Yeah, the same. Mm -hmm. So you were saying that 
Did you did you also say that the Beach Boys are popular in J in Japan? Yeah, very popular. Okay, because I noticed that there's some arrangements in this song, this Christmas Eve song, that reminded me of the Beach Boys. There's a lot of these vocals in the background. Going, da, 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 da. Ah, yeah, it sounded yeah. very much like the Beach Boys mm -hmm. in the background. So maybe it's, there's some influence there. Yeah, I think so. Hmm, interesting. Cool. So that's like one of the <laughs> most popular Christmas songs. The problem. Most popular. My song. Mm -hmm. oh, the most popular, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you celebrate Christmas? Uh, not so much. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever, even when you were younger or not? Yeah, uh, when I was younger. My mother prepared Christmas cake or some meal. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have four... Uh, mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Um, are you in the middle? Are you the oldest or the youngest? Middle, middle. The middle. Yeah. Okay. I always I was ignored. Middle. <laughs> <laughs> no important. <laughs> <laughs> ah, middle child. Yeah. <laughs> Not important. Yes, yeah, so they say they say that's the hardest to be the middle child. How about you? I uh, I have a younger brother and a younger mm. sister, so I'm the mm. oldest. Older, mm -hmm. very important kid. <laughs> no. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah, I was the first. Is 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 Christmas popular in Japan though at all? Like, I mean, is it um, is it a big deal for anybody? <laughs> Christmas is a very good chance for the company and the department store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So it's like a time for shopping. <laughs> so uh, every year the musician releases some Christmas song. Mm -hmm. If the song has a very big, a big hit, they earn a lot of money. Ah, uh, so like they they release new Christmas songs like every year. Yes, yes. They're trying to do the. They're trying to do it. Tatsuro Yamashita did trying to get a big hit. Hmm. This is the uh, the first time I I hear I listen to his music, the Christmas Eve. It's used for advertisement of a train company. Then uh, this uh, commercial CM became very famous. So, um, did he become more popular because of the commercials he was because in? Because of this commercial. Really? So yeah. that's made him really. Yeah, this is an old commercial, but very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so. Yeah, it's possible. Sometimes being in a commercial can make you famous. I don't think that works in the United States. Like, you can go from one, you can be a big star and be in a commercial, mm -hmm. but you can't be a big star from being in a commercial, I don't think. It doesn't work that way in, in the United States. You can't become a big rock star because of being in a commercial. <laughs> it only goes, it can go, it goes this way, but it doesn't go this way. Like, if you're already a big star, then you can be in a commercial. Mm -hmm. But you can't, get discovered from being a commercial. Not as a musician, it's not cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Christmas is a pretty big deal for some people in the United States. And not there's lots of different reasons people celebrate. <clears throat> I have yeah. a TV commercial and um, uh, it's changed to uh, um, November to all uh, uh, Christmas song. Japanese case many Christmas. <coughs> Start uh, November. Uh, <coughs> what starts in November exactly? Um, many and uh, commercial. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Yeah, for us the commercials start. Yeah, 
about it's some kind of provoking our mind to yeah to something <laughs> exactly yeah that starts happening soon for us like mm. around Halloween is when it starts <laughs> when Halloween's done so, yeah no, but, mm. but already if I walked into the mall right now I bet I would already hear Christmas music mm. so it's they start really early Halloween started from America right what's that um, Halloween uh, started from America. Yeah, I, I th it's yeah, I think so. It's the most popular here. I don't know if it's if the tradition started here, but um, the trick or treating I think is is from is from here. It's a Western thing. Let's see. Let's look at the uh, the Wikipedia post. Because I, I yeah, it's definitely. Uh, people think of it as an American thing. So, uh, Halloween. Uh, Hallamus, in the time of uh, liturgical year, dedicated to remembering the dead, including saints, martyrs, and the faithful departed. Mm -hmm. According to many scholars, All Hallows' Eve is a Christianized feast initially influenced by Celtic harvest festivals and festivals of the dead with possible pagan roots, particularly the, uh, the Gaelic Samhain. Other scholars maintain that it is organized independently of Samhain and is solely Christian. Trick-or-treating, costume parties, blah, 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 blah. Yes, we know about that. History. Today's Halloween, uh, thought to have been influenced by folk customs and beliefs from Celtic-speaking countries, some of which have been pagan roots. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Wow, there's a lot here. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of information here. Wow. <laughs> so they're saying it comes from, they're saying it comes from like Scotland and Wales and and some of these places, Gaelic type places. Um, but now the 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 Halloween that everyone thinks about, where the kids dress up and they go to door to door with you know asking for candy, that's a I think that's pretty American trick or treating. <laughs> Is very American. And you know, around five years ago, I stayed in Italy sometimes, but I've never heard about Halloween. Mm. Mm -hmm. So maybe it came from America. Yeah, it's very popular here. Yeah, everyone celebrates it. People, I'll probably dress up for Colingo on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should. <laughs> you should wear. I will. I was gonna dress up for my martini class, but I, uh, I. Yeah. Forgot. Dracula, Dracula fashion. Yeah, and Dracula. <laughs> yeah. What would you dress up as if you had to dress up? Hmm. Well, I'm about uh, I'm about done with this class. We got uh, I gotta get my drums set up for my band practice. I gotta get my keyboard set up for my band practice, and everything else. So. But this is a good one-on-one -on -one music class, Heidi. We got to skip yeah. the pronunciation uh, and grammar part and to chat and stuff. <laughs> Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. You have yourself a good day, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Yeah, bye-bye.